Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Riley Anna, and I post new videos every single Sunday regarding different beauty tips and reviews and overall beauty and styles. So if that is something that you guys are interested in watching more of, feel free to continue watching this video as well as subscribing to my channel down below so that you guys can see all of my old videos in the past as well. For this video, this is gonna be very interesting because I am doing a video and all of these products on my face today are 100% first impressions of products that I have never ever put on my face before. I think the look turned out really nice considering my obstacles that I had faced, which you are going to see throughout this video. Some of these products I loved and some of them I really did not like but the overall result came together really nicely and so that's what matters the most. Just remember, since these are first impressions, this video is 110% my honest to God opinions on my first time trial of these products. I'm always like that in my videos. I'll tell you if I like something or don't like it, but honestly, in this case, since these are products that I have never used, if I don't like it, I'm gonna tell you why I don't like it. And if I do like it, I'm gonna tell you why I like it. So you can expect a full, honest review out of all of these products that I'm gonna use today. And because I'm extra and can't wait till the video starts, here's just a sneak peek of some of the products that we're using today. So without further ado, let's jump into it and I'm gonna show you guys how I created this look today with all new products today, step by step. Let's get it. Alrighty, for my first never used before product, we are using the Benefit Professional Primer and this one is the hydrating one. I definitely have used the regular one and I love that one. It does have a lot of really, really good reviews. So let's put this on. So far so good, feels great on my skin, just like the normal professional. I don't feel any immediate difference, obviously right away, but I might feel a difference later on in the day, so let's see, let's give it a chance. For my brows, I am going to use one of two Brow Wiz pencils from Anastasia. So I got two of them. Got two of them as a gift. Yet, I don't know which one to use, which one will be better to use, because I got a soft brown here and a medium brown here. Actually, it's the other way around. This is soft brown, this is medium brown. Now, since I just got my hair colored, I don't know which one is gonna look better, but we're gonna improvise and use both. Now, I am going to use the medium brown to shape out my brows, and then the soft brown to fill it in. I did swatch these before on my hand, and it looks pretty good, so let's hope it stays that way when I put it on. Medium brown is complete. Now we're gonna use the soft brown and I'm gonna fill it in with this one. All right, let's spill the tea real quick. If I'm being real, I don't know if I'm loving this. It is very soft and natural. So you guys see it's like really soft. I don't hate it. It's a decent pencil. But what I will say is I have had much better. All of y'all know that I am a total Benna babe all the way. So in comparison to the Precisely My Brow, the consistency on the Anastasia one is just so hard and rough compared to Benefit. It's a lot creamier and it just melts easily into the skin. I can create the shape that I want a lot quicker versus with those pencils. It took a lot longer for me to fill it in and I had to push a lot harder. Is it a bad product? No. Would I use it? Yes, but is there better? Absolutely yes. Next new product is the NYX Ultimate Edit eyeshadow palette. I got this one also as a gift a while ago and I did swatch it before. I just didn't really use it because I didn't know how much I really was feeling the colors. But I figure since I have it here, might as well give it a shot, right? I'm thinking about only using these first three colors today because I kind of want to do like a little smoky, fiery look. So I'm gonna do that with these. I'm gonna start by using this middle shade right here and I'm gonna brush that all around here. Pigment isn't bad. Definitely has got a lot of fallout though. Mm -hmm. 
You know what, I think I am going to mix up just a couple colors. I'm going to use a little bit of this purple shade right here, and I'm going to use that to push into my crease. So far, the pigment isn't bad on these. Definitely had better, definitely had my fair share of better, but it's not bad. I'm going to cut the crease real quick, I'll be right back. Alrighty, crease is cut. Now before we continue with the palette, I'm going to go with one of the other products I've never used before. This one is from Stilla and this is their liquid eyeshadow in the color Kitten Karma. Now I have definitely used Stilla liquid glitter eyeshadows before and I freaking love them. I just haven't used this shade so I'm very excited to use this one. Let's do it. <gasps> oh wow. Guys, it's so pretty. I mean, I really didn't expect any less. I already saw it and kind of knew I was going to like it, but still. Oh yeah, this is a winner right here. Alright guys, I think that's a winner. That is so cute. Honest opinion of it, I freaking love it. I didn't expect any less because I already love their liquid glitter eyeshadow, so that one is just another one added to the list of one of my new favorites. Now going back into this palette, I'm going to use this yellow shade right here. This thing's definitely got a lot of fallout. I'm going to place it right here in the middle and just bring it towards the glitter. It does have pretty decent pigment though, it is pretty nice. Next, I'm going to use this middle color right here, and I'm going to put that right here, right next to the yellow. And finish it out by using the purple on the outside for my outside shadow. Alright, so I used the rest of that purple and just put a little bit of it down at the bottom, but guys, overall, thought of this palette, I really liked it. I'm not going to lie, I didn't expect to too much because I thought like the pigment was going to be really basic and not that nice. I like the way it turned out though, the pigment is really nice in there. The only thing I'll say about it is that the fallout was a little bit much, but overall I really like it and it's so tiny so I could use it when I'm going out traveling. I mean not like I travel like that, but those occasional times when I do go out of town and I still want some colorful looks, I can definitely take this with me. So this is definitely approved by me. Next product that I am going to use brand new is from LA Girl. This is the Ultimate Eye Intense Stay Auto Liner. Very excited to use this one. It's supposed to be like a really, really deep, wow, that's a really deep navy blue. Look at that color. So I'm just going to use that to line my waterline today. Thoughts on this pencil so far? It worked really well. It is very creamy. I like how the texture came out. Only thing I will say, when I put it on, it was kind of a little bit, um, how do you say the word? Kind of patchy, I guess. When I put it on, it was like kind of really bumpy. So I had to like go back quite a few times to make it smooth, but the texture of it itself is smooth. It's really hard to explain on here, but I feel like if you guys felt it, you would know what I'm talking about. Overall thoughts though, really do like it, and I think it goes really well with this look. So let's continue. This right here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Eyeliner. This one has so many good reviews, so I'm looking forward and intrigued to see how this works. It's funny, a lot of my new products today are Anastasia, just because I have not tried a lot of their products. Alright, here it comes. Already got one wing down and I do have a couple things to say about it already. The actual formula and texture of it is actually pretty excellent. The one thing I don't like about it is that the brush here, it does not have a lot of mobility at all. Like I've been trying to, when I use it, like I'm expecting a little flick. It does not flick at all. It is not very mobile at all it stays very flat like this. So that does make it a little bit difficult to really give it a nice wing. 
But that aside, like I said, the formula is really nice. Alrighty, I am finished with the other wing. Overall thoughts on this liner, it's very 50-50 for me. I think the texture and the actual formula of it is fine, it's pretty nice, but the applicator for it is not my favorite. Like, the actual texture of it, the felt is super hard so it doesn't move a lot, doesn't glide very easily, and it's also extremely fine. The tip is super duper fine. I'm hoping you guys can see it here. Do you guys see how tiny it is right here? Because of that, when I'm putting it on, especially because I like bigger winged liners, it's so difficult to fill it in because I have to keep, keep going back in and back in, back in, and then I gotta keep building on top of it. I think for somebody that likes small, really precise, small wings, really sultry ones, you can definitely use this. But for me, someone that likes a little bit bigger wings and something really easy to glide on, this definitely takes a lot more work. I'll still use it, but I'm probably gonna stick with my original stuff that I like to use. This next one, I'm so nervous, but also excited at the same time for. This one is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Y'all know I love my full coverage foundations, but this joint right here says Ultimate Coverage. I am scared to see the texture of this and how thick it's gonna be, but it's worth a shot. We're gonna try it out, so please, Lord, oh. My fingers are crossed. I just wet my beauty blender, so let's do this. Ooh, Lord, even pumping it out is thick, my God. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Okay, this is not bad. Let's get to the forehead and the other side. Oh God, okay, now I'm scared. This right here is, whoa, please don't look at me. I don't know if it's because of the lighting here or something, but this is like way too much. I'm hoping that once I put some bronzer and highlight, it'll fix it. If it still looks like this, I'm gonna have to take this off. Cause right now I look like I'm ready to go in a casket. This is very scary. Becca, um, I don't know yet. I really genuinely don't know yet. All I know is you definitely cannot wear this by itself. This right here, next up, we are using from LA Girl, the LA Girl Pro Concealers. I have never used their concealers before, so I'm very excited. Oh, God. Wow, it totally got everywhere, but we're gonna try to use this to contour. This is a tad bit better, but it's still, oh no! This is not really what I'm wanting and I'm very sad because this was going so well until we got to this part. My eyes were looking good and I was really happy thinking this was gonna be a nice look. And now the face could ruin it all. What I don't understand is when I'm looking in this mirror, it looks fine. And then in this lighting, it's like, Bam, in your face. I will say though, I think this concealer is definitely helping to neutralize and tone it down because y'all saw a few seconds earlier, I was looking a little bit crazy. Overall thoughts on the concealer, not bad. It definitely helped a lot with toning down that foundation. This doesn't look bad, it's just I'm not used to this much coverage. But the concealer itself, I did like it. I actually think it was pretty good. Okay, next up we are using the Anastasia Translucent Setting Powder. I have heard so many good things about this, so I'm hoping this will help set it into place a little bit. Going back to my thoughts on the foundation, I gotta say guys, unless if I'm doing like a serious look for something, I don't think I will be wearing this on a regular basis. It's just way too heavy on my skin. You can probably already tell just from looking at it here. I literally think this is probably the heaviest foundation I've ever worn in my life. Like I can actually feel it. So let's use this powder to tone it down. I'm just gonna lightly dust it all over. 
Wow! Could this powder save the day? Let's see. So far, it's working magic. Wow, that looks a lot better. The foundation still looks heavy, but that powder just really, really helped a lot. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Okay. I see why people love this powder so much. Wow. Dare I say it might be my new favorite? I have to say, Anastasia, you guys killed it with this powder. This one is most definitely approved by me and I think I will definitely be wearing this a lot more often. It just helped to tone down this really heavy foundation so much. And it's so lightweight. I love how easily that powder spread when I was putting it on, it just glided so easily on my skin. That's my new favorite powder there, hands down. Next up, I'm going to use the Clinique High Impact Mascara. I'm just gonna use this just to coat my top lashes a little bit before I put on my falsies, and then I'm gonna put it on my bottom lashes as well. Overall thought of it, it's fine. Honestly, it works just like any other mascara. I don't think there was anything particularly unique about it, but it worked. I'm going to go put on my lashes and I will be right back. All right, lashes are on and guys, this is looking so much better. I'm telling you, when I started out with that foundation, I really thought that was gonna be the end of this look. But me and my amazing self somehow managed to make this come back to life. And I wanna give a shout out to that LA Girl Concealer and the Anastasia Powder because that is what helped make this come back. So for the last product I am going to use, actually this isn't the last one, but almost the last one. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. You guys know I have a bunch of these, but this one is called Sellout. It's a really nice pinky nude color, so let's try it. Ooh, I like, I like. Ooh, guys, look at that color, that's pretty. Wow. Wow, I keep dropping stuff. This color is so cute. Guys, look at this lip. This color is so bomb. Wow, look at that. This color is absolutely freaking beautiful. And what's really cool about it is I did not even have to use a lip liner at all. That's crazy. I went with no lip liner and it turned out like this. That is so pretty. This color is called Sellout. I'm sold on it. I already love the formula of all the Too Faced Melt and Matte collections, so this color is just another one I'm gonna have to add. I can't wait to get me a full size of this one. Next up, I'm going to use from Ulta Beauty. This is their Juice Infused Lip Oil. I definitely have their Juice Infused Lip Oils and I actually just used it recently. I do like them, but I haven't used this one. This one is cranberry and pomegranate. Well, let's try it on. Alrighty, I like it, definitely cute. The only thing is for me, I prefer to wear lip oils by themselves and I kind of like the way that the matte look looked by itself so I kind of wish I didn't combine them. But both of them by themselves, these are both amazing. I love them both. 10 out of 10 for me, dare I say. And the last but most certainly not least is from Lancome. We are just going to use this blush. This one is called Blushing Tresor. I don't speak French, so I don't know. I'm going to use just a touch of this and I'm really hoping that this will bring my face even more back to life after that foundation crisis. Ooh, okay. So not bad, you guys can see it. This blush kind of reminds me of the Orgasm blush from NARS. If you guys have tried Orgasm and you guys are either a medium or darker skin tone, you guys know that that blush is considered a blush, but it looks more like a highlighter on the skin because it's so light and illuminated. That's very similar to this right here. It's just a little bit darker, but it has so much illumination in it that it actually looks more like a highlight on my cheek, which isn't bad, 
but especially considering it's right here where I have like the biggest issues with my pores, it's definitely very prominent in highlighting, so it's okay. I like very colorful blushes. I don't like illuminating ones. It makes it look kind of ashy and pale, but it's cute if that makes sense. Alrighty, y'all, that was the end of creating this look today. 100% out of products that I have never tried before. Overall thoughts on everything, it was not bad. Out of my top favorites, I would have to say that Anastasia powder was absolutely freaking fantastic. I love this powder. Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick. This color sellout is just so pretty. And then for my not so favorites, Becca Foundation. It's just way too heavy, guys. It's way, way, way too heavy. I had a lot of stuff to help me neutralize and bring it down, so that's why it looks good now. I most definitely would not be using this all the time. Also, the Anastasia Liquid Liner. I'm so sorry, but this was a little bit more disappointing than I expected. For me personally, it's definitely not for me. Those were some of just my top favorites and least favorites, but out of everything, the overall look, it came together. I made it work all together, and I really like it. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a nice thumbs up on this channel, and also feel free to subscribe so that you can support your girl out here. And then once you subscribe, you can always hit that bell right next to the subscribe button. It's literally like two inches away from it. And hit that bell so that you can get notified every time I post more videos like this in the future, which is always every Sunday, by the way. Don't forget to share down in the bottom in the comments what your favorite products are, which ones that you have tried before and what you liked or didn't like. I gotta go because I gotta go take some pictures of this while it still looks good, but I will see you guys later in my next video. All right, adios. Next new product. Ooh, my voice cracked. JK, I don't have a British accent. I don't know what this is. My cut is cre- Ooh, shit. Uh.